gonna start reporting on a lot of things wrestling i'm gonna start reacting to a lot more content um i think i figured out the formula now i got a friend of mine who i watch a lot and he kind of does something so that way he's able to at least commentate and not have to worry about videos getting blocked worldwide so that's really the most important thing but let's get into this because we've been live and we talk about this all the time we've been cap uh covering not capturing but covering a lot of wrestling news and just uploading a bunch of content and uh today i woke up to well earlier today i woke up to i guess the fans or i should just say weirdos because fans don't do this shit. it's the weirdos uh sending ava which ava rain which i think is simone johnson is that her real name i think it's simone johnson or whatever which is the rock's daughter death threats and it's kind of crazy because you see this happening with the gaming industry with certain developers with like voice actors and sometimes it's like you target the wrong person if and i'm not i'm not condoning targeting but if you're gonna if you're gonna target anyone target the right person i don't condone it i don't think it's the right thing it's weird but why people always go to the person they feel like they can get the more reaction off of like they went towards ava and of course i think she just announced that she became general manager of nxt which a lot more people decide to use that as a way to even just taunt or disrespect you know the rocks family um the, the samoan bloodline and everything going on saying that all of them are now starting to work in wwe which is kind of like ridiculous because at one point everybody a lot of you guys you know showed nothing but the utmost respect and love for the rock and was hoping that one day his presence will be around wwe where whereas we've seen all the fallouts going on with vince and we wanted something better to happen and of course triple h has been doing his job and making sure that we're just happy as fuck with everything going on with wwe but now because one slight decision which i don't agree with has really just made everyone act like they fucking heal it's weird and pretty much he took to twitter today or zitter or his ex what the fuck i keep forgetting what ffs is uh, for fuck's sake i thought it was for fizzle for fuck shizzle i don't fucking know man whatever anyways though she took to twitter and basically asked people to leave her out of it that's not her decision she's running a show and she has nothing to do with her father's decision tko group's decision and anyone in the back room involving with the cody rose situation and if you are unaware if you're a wrestling fan and just been too busy and unaware of what's been going on pretty much after the vince debacle and this whole orientation shit with him and brock and having to get removed from the wwe name um temporarily with brock i don't know if it's permanent but as far as vince being removed the power of all things wwe and tko uh cody rose won the royal rumble and deserved and earned his spot to go up against roman reigns to kind of secure that storyline and complete that storyline and i guess with out actually thinking of another route to go and to kind of avoid any backlash afterwards the rock steps in they looked at a bigger payout a bigger buy um to go more media mainstream with it seeing that more fans and all that other stuff and they stepped over cody Rhodes' story and now have the rock face in roman it's very political it's very you know we see more buys for the fans yet wrestlemania was sold out like it doesn't like i don't understand what they were thinking but they went down this route and it kind of pushes his story back it kind of flops a lot of things it rubs a lot of people the wrong way and to be honest with you i'm not here to you know i love the rock but you know i'm not here to see somebody who barely wrestles kind of take out somebody who has a storyline where he's defeated almost everyone and you're looking for that one dude who's been busting his ass the underdog come out and win the rock to me is not an underdog that's honestly just we're just looking at pay-per-view buys at this point you know what i mean so yeah it's all this that's going on and the fans reacted poorly um in birmingham i think they were cheering but in other places in the in the in-house shows they were just booing the replays that were going on but the, the bigger conversation with ava the rock's daughter and having to deal with this is kind of wonky because you know as i look here i it, it it's it's really sad to see like guys are weirdos you know um all we could do is complain and what's crazy is today tonight at raw we're probably gonna hear a little bit of a little something and i know in las vegas we're gonna hear more on friday but it's so crazy that you know they did reach out to the fans and say hey we heard we see the reception we see everything going on and instead of just waiting to see what would happen tonight if anything would happen you guys jump ship and go ahead and start th death threatening motherfuckers. like I, I don't get it um she wrote death threats over a situation to have nothing to do with um be fucking for real i think that's what bffr is man listen i'm 31 i i'll be forgetting shit. and it's sad you know she's been 
in the WWE for a little while now recently, and she just obtained like a, a nice position. Again, all the disrespect even, you know, coming towards her about her being part of the Rock's family and how they all getting the jobs. Like, it's one thing if you guys want to say, oh, wow, they're giving better opportunities. But I'm more than sure the way they handle their business outside of Vince McMahon, you still got to bust your ass to get in. At one point, Vince had his son put in the rings together and shit. Y'all remember that? All them stories, uh, Shane McMahon had to put the rings together before matches and shit like that before he even was able to get a bigger position in that job. So just know they wouldn't just be here just to give anyone a position unless they felt like they were deserving of it. So I just think people are weird. Um, drop your comments below. Let me know what you guys think of this. And we're gonna watch Raw on my Discord tonight if you wanna join. Also follow me on Twitter, I mean Twitch. That's where we live stream everything. And we're about to hit 50K on the gaming channel. So I appreciate you guys a lot. But it's your boy 3MG, I'm out of here and Happy to be a wrestling fan, dog. Shit.